A little bit of thirst, but not for what you think. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Bloodlust, the third episode of Supernatural Season 2. This was the introduction of Gordon Walker, played by Sterling K. Brown, who has considerably done well with his career. He's been nominated several times, he's won an Emmy, he's won a Golden Globe. The guy has proved himself to be a very, very good actor. He has gotten into big production films, even though The Predator was a giant piece of crap. Now this wasn't really the start of his career, but this is what introduced a lot of Supernatural fans to him, and it introduced a lot of the film industry to him in terms of being able to play a character with underlying tones. And I like the character of Gordon Walker. He's probably one of the best villains that this show has had of a human villain a great character who brings up this emotional divide with dean dean is obviously not dealing well with his father's death and he's kind of seeing gordon as a means to fill in the void because he is also a fellow hunter and they have many similarities whereas sam is more of the humanist sort of idea and he realizes there is something up with gordon when they're hunting these vampires who turn out to be trying to live a normal life they're trying to live off of animal's blood, which admittedly farmers probably wouldn't agree with, but they're not hunting humans anymore. There's this discussion of what is black and white, what is gray, and it's funny considering Dean has this kind of revelation to himself in this episode, especially at the end where he realizes what if the things we were hunting weren't actually hurting people when we were hunting with dad, and this constantly comes into play when Dean goes on a kill spree or is yeah, we gotta kill it in the later seasons considering the depth that the character got in this episode. Some of the writing is a little bit fisted, a little bit forced, especially with Gordon and Dean's dialogue. There's so many actions that happen in their conversation at the bar, which is Billy Minor Pub, which is in Maple Ridge, by the way, and holy crap, this thing has definitely gotten an upgrade it looked like garbage back in the day at least in this episode which what 2006 2007 holy god it looks awful now it actually looks really nice but wow it looked pretty shitty on the outside this bar conversation there's so much dialogue that's very very forced it's very nail on the head sarah gamble was a great writer for the show and i do like what she does with this episode there's just a few things that it's TV show writing production, really. And the farmhouse at the end of the episode where they tie Gordon up and they drive away, that actually is a farmhouse farm location that's in Walnut Grove that I actually got to work on quite recently. I can't show you any photos of it, but it was really cool to see this building and be like, hey, I've worked there admittedly 14 years later. I like this episode. I like the dynamic that it has with Gordon. I like the action that's in this. There's also a very toned down death where he uses a saw to chop the vampire's head off. There's just a little bit of blood on Dean's face. He should be just drenched in it like something from, uh, from Evil Dead, but you know, it's a TV show. The writing again is not exactly the strongest in certain aspects, but overall this is a very good episode. And again, Gordon was such a great character. I'm gonna give Bloodlust a five out of seven now let's see what you guys had to say in the comments i uh, got a lot of them admittedly i can't say all of them but i got a lot of comments from you guys okay so our first comment here is tom i'm gonna just skip to where his part is episode three was epic and who knew we had an oscar winner in our midst well it's an emmy golden gold winner but still yeah, he's an award winner Overall, season two was sneaky, underrated, but it was so important for establishing lore, characters, etc. for the rest of the series. We wouldn't have seasons four and five without it. Yes, I totally agree with you there. We got another one here from Joe Malia. Bloodlust introduced Gordon, who is the only human that is an actual threat to the brothers that has turned uh, that has to be turned into a vampire in order to be defeated later in season three because of his non-sympathetic feelings towards any supernatural being, and because Gordon. Because of Gordon, the show creates a gray area on what supernatural beings are actual e actually evil. I also really like Sterling K. Brown, which is why I probably like Gordon. Yes, I definitely agree with you there. Uh, he was a really great character, had really, a lot of really great parts, and uh, yeah, that gray area that he adds to the show. Got one here from Joe Balashia. Bloodlust is one of those instances where the humans are the villain, but it's done right. Gordon Walker is definitely a serial killer, scary, and ironically has a bloodlust for vampires. Mm, good point. I love that this is a, a dean centric episode showing the darker side of dean one of the shots that is unforgettable for me in the entire show is the lighting that zooms in on dean's face solid episode to paint a morally gray dilemma that has the best human villain the show has ever had a karen c got a really big one here so i'm just gonna go with the 
the the last one here. In the final fight scene, when he puts down the knife to suggest a fair fight, and Dean puts down his gun, I, every time I watch and see him pick the knife back up again, I just want Dean to kill the rat bastard. But Dean ramming his head into the wall and giving him that extra punch is a good and more appropriate second option. I love it when he walks him into the wall. Like, oops. That's a great part. Thank you guys for your comments. And then something else I should mention too is there's this very slow kind of pull into Dean, and it's got that ring kind of lens flare ring from the sun and he's looking back at the camera because and this is after sam says i guess i'm just going to be a pain in your ass and dean looks at the camera and now having re 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 watched the season so many times i realize he is thinking you might not just be a pain in my ass i might just have to kill you and i love that they keep alluding to this and seeing it now is just so much more there. The next episode is Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things. This is the first time zombies are introduced to the show, so make sure to give me your comments about that, and I'll read off the best ones I can find in the comments when I do the episode next. Thanks again for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.